back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today we have a question that's sent in by Paul, Paul from Darby. Now, you remember Paul on Friday, he gave us the great idea about how to do VLOOKUP using a named range, and he sent in a question with his suggestion. He said, anytime that I use the macro recorder to record a named range, it's not doing what I want. So basically, Paul said, you know, try this. Go to Tools, Macro, Record New Macro, and I'll call it AA Name Range. It'll show up at the top of the list. Click OK. Um, Paul says, first thing I do is I select the entire current region. So that's Control Asterisk to select the current region. And then I define a name. So maybe my data. Click OK. All right, now we'll stop recording. And I'm going to delete that defined name. Insert name define. And I'll delete that. Click OK. But now here's the problem. Tomorrow, Paul's data might have a larger area. All right, so we select one cell in the data, we run the macro, run, and while it selects all of the data, it did not name it correctly. Unfortunately, the macro recorder hard-coded that the named range is always going to be that original area, which is very, very frustrating. Now, let's go take a look at this code, we'll edit, and basically, what it's doing is it's doing current region dot select. At that point, I just want to say selection dot name equals my data. Far easier syntax than whatever the macro recorder does. We don't have to worry about the refers to variable or anything like that. It just simply works. Now let's come back and we'll test again. So this time uh, let me delete a few cells here. And I'll delete the original definition of my data. Delete. Click OK. All right, select one cell. We'll run the macro. It selects all the data, and already I can tell it worked because the name box is showing the correct range. If I would reselect and ask for my data, it has now named the entire current region. So, you know, there's a few things that you have to learn, and the macro recorder just don't work. Naming ranges, it is not necessarily the, the best thing in the macro recorder. It always hard codes the range that you have today. Um, but by using this trick and basically changing uh, one line of code, and actually simplifying the line of code quite a bit, selection.name equals, and then in quotes the name of the range, it will solve that problem. So thanks to Paul for sending in that great question. Thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast for Mr. Excel.